Sports Hall of Fame has uh, been uh, in a couple of different locations. We were at the Johnson Terminal in the Forks and the Bay downtown, but we've truly found a home here at 145 Pacific in the Sport for Life Center. And uh, there's over 3,000 square feet for people to come and see 70 different sports and over 100 years of sport history in Manitoba. We just opened it up in October of last year and uh, the concept uh, maximizes the use of space. It's a decade, modular decade galleries that we can change up. So at any given time, you're probably looking at about 15% of the collection on display and people can come two, three times a year and they can see something different every time. We have some interactive elements. Uh, we've got an Xbox Connect game for the kids to burn off a little steam in the one corner. We've got five media players throughout that uh, tie in with the decade galleries in which they're located. And we have, um, everyone's got a camera now on their cell phone and that. We have a, a picture gallery in our locker room exhibit where you can get your picture taken with a life-size cutout of Kenny Plain in front of the football stadium or Ab McDonald in front of the old Winnipeg Jets arena. I have personal favorites in here. Um, in the 30s gallery, we've got a little tiny wooden football that's uh, carved out of the goalposts the 1935 Grey Cup game when the Winnipegs beat the Hamilton Tigers in the, the first Grey Cup won by a Western team. Normally we've got the Avco Cup on display, it's, it's not here today, it's at the Canada Sports Hall of Fame for an exhibition there, but it is normally home here in the Manitoba Sports Hall of Fame and I have fond memories of that. I was an usher back in the WHA days so uh, I got to see them carry around that cup for real. It's not just a a museum. We have um, the ability to rent out this facility. It's an important revenue generator for the continuing operations of the museum. So um, meetings, uh, media conferences, birthday parties, team wind-ups, uh, catered functions, that sort of thing. And of course we have uh, organized school tours and a grade four to six curriculum based on um, social studies and that sort of thing. And um, also have uh, seniors groups because the seniors uh, brings back a lot of memory, a lot of nostalgia for them. And uh, I really love to see the senior come in with the grandchild and, and explain what it was like back in the day and see the kids' eyes light up with uh, understanding. It's, it's great.